Chelsea Briggs here in the live zone, and I'm sandwiched between Vice Town. How are you guys? Feeling amazing. Uh, we just finished playing main stage here at Spring Awakening, and it went off. It went off so hard. We didn't ac actually expect it to be so fun, but we, like amazing, amazing. You no, know, I was actually in the audience dancing. Yeah. I was rocking out. You guys killed it. It was fun, right? I was sweaty. Afterwards. Oh, we're and you know that that's like a good testament. Like if you're sweaty, it's a good set. Yeah. Oh yeah. And like we're still buzzing. We still have that like post show adrenaline. Yeah. And also we're all wearing our sunglasses because that's what you do at the festival. You do True. interviews and sunglasses. They have the stop signs. I have just a normal aviator. True story. They asked me though. They're like, do we should we wear our sunglasses? I was like, we're at a festival. Well, I called you yesterday to make sure you got the right ones. And we got the exact same ones, too. Yeah. Twins. Stop signs. I have another one, but I think it's Ray-Ban, too. No, I was out of the loop. It's, it's okay. It's all right. It's next good. time. We'll get, it's we'll, always one out, one out, yeah. We'll, we'll get it next time. Um, so excited for you guys. You had your album Legacy come out recently. Yeah. So I want to know, what do you guys want your legacy to be? Um, we want to leave music that... We're, like, not follow any trends. We want to make music that we love to make. From, from the start, it has to be melodic, it has to be energetic, uh, just something we feel very happy about. And with Legacy, we left these 10 songs that we're so proud of. And we think that if we listen back in 20, 30 years, that we're still gonna listen back and be very, very happy with that. So yeah, we wanna. that's what we wanna leave behind. Yeah, yeah and, w and when Avicii died, like, uh. he still, that had like a big impact on us personally. Yeah. And like, the fact that he's still so popular and like, we still listen to the songs all the time, he left behind and insane legacy and if we could get like a tiny 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 fraction of that yeah. like and even leave something behind when we're gone that people can still hear our emotions at that time when we're making the music there's something profound about that and so that was the inspiration for us making legacy well and i feel like you guys are you're doing such a good job and this this album specifically was long awaited people were like when's it coming it finally came what's been the best response you've gotten or maybe like the most surprising response you've gotten from it that's been something that you're like okay um, well, we have a song in there called Ghost of My Past, and it's very different. It's more inspired by a hip-hop beat. We kind of mixed our style with the, like the lead sounds with a hip-hop beat. Um, and I love the song. I know Ruben does as well. And hopefully, all of, hopefully. Oh, we I love do. that one. And it's love literally it. the, the favorite song of all our family members and friends. They're like, yeah, Ghost of My Past is my favorite. So yeah, that surprised me. I love it. How about you? Same, like that song is really special to me um, because it's like it's you know very heartfelt and, and like we recorded me playing the piano in the beginning and then Victor did all the drums like to perfection and like it's such a cool I really love how we collaborated on that song to really make it perfect and it's completely like it's a song that we wouldn't release as a single yeah. at least we wouldn't and that's kind of the beauty of doing an album or an EP where you can release songs that you normally wouldn't and do you feel like that's the one from your fans that got the most like people behind it, people were behind it the most would you say? I think people uh, leave very heartfelt comments uh, on that song on YouTube, and whenever we read that, it just you know that feels so so nice to see. Yeah, yeah. and every once in a while you get a comment like, "Oh, you helped me through a dark period or a breakup," and that means a lot to us. That means we made someone's life just a little bit better, and yeah. that's that's why we do it. Um, you guys have a studio in your house, two studios in your house yeah. that you yes. built. Yes. Yes. So I want to know, <laughs> what are three things that you must have in your studio in order to have a good session? Number one, acoustic treatments. Okay. Number two, the best sounding speakers you can buy. Right. Number three, in our case, I would say a MIDI keyboard. Okay. Because it makes life so much better. Okay, bonus fourth. A water-cooled PC rig. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and you guys are back on the road right now. You're doing some sh lots of shows this year. Yeah. Um, what are you, where are you most excited? Like, what stops are you most excited for? Most excited. Well, this was the first festival we played, so we were very stoked for this one, and so happy it didn't rain today. Oh my God! Yeah, it, I know. We're super stoked, um, and we're finally going back to Canada. Like it has been closed down for so long, uh, being able to cross the border again to Canada because we love going to Canada as well. Yeah. I feel like so everyone's like stoked for this year because everyone's like we're getting back on the road. It's like the, it's like parties to the nth degree of craziness. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah, well, for sure, for sure, and we can tell from the crowd reaction yeah. like. They've been dying to have this again, and we've been all, you know, everybody's made sacrifices in Corona, and now it's time to sort of celebrate that you know, we can live a normal life again. Yes. Well, uh, congratulations, Nevada went gold. Yes, it did. In Canada, yeah, amazing. <laughs> it was so amazing to finally see that black, like, like, that we received at home, and it looks so good on the wall, and we're, is, yeah. Is it in your studio? We have three, so one yeah. is in the living room, one in, in uh, one, my studio, and one in Ruben's nice. studio. Yeah, yeah. We, have, we have a couple in Holland too, because we, we sometimes, uh, you know, we go back and forth. 
So we it, we got we got five flags in total, oh and they like like they look so good in person, and it's just like we're really proud of that record, you yeah? know. So cool. Um, okay, so because we're in Chicago, we're gonna play a game called Deep or Dish. Are you guys down? Okay. So basically, you have to say if you want in deep dish pizza is, is the thing here. You know yeah, that, right? Yeah. So, but how this goes is you either say you want to have a deep question or a dish question, and then I'll pick a, a question from that category. What's a dish question? Well, do you want to? Is that is that your choice? Sure. Yeah. Dish. I'll do deep and he does, he okay, does ready? dish. Okay, ready? Okay, your dish question is, who is your celebrity crush? Jessica Alba. Oh, <laughs> That's true. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, <laughs> also what? true. Bonus. Okay. Would you, well, they're both, they're both kind of taken, but it's okay. You know, sometimes you just got a dream. Are you the type that if you are into someone, you'll go up and hit on that? Hit, like, have a pickup line? Like, what's your pickup line? Well, not if they're married and have kids. Well, no, no, I know. That's why I was asking for the, all the single ladies that are watching. Single ladies or men? I'd be like, yo, you know Nevada by Vice Stone? <laughs> it's gold. Yeah, it's gold now. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. All right, you're deep? Deep, yeah, deep okay. for me. Let's go deep. All right, this is actually, I, I, I know what I'm going to ask you. Okay. Because of your, your song that re re references ghosts, have yeah. you, do you believe in ghosts and have you ever had a paranormal experience? I have not had a paranormal experience. I also don't really believe in ghosts, but I'm kind of afraid that one day they will show up. Yeah. So it's like, I don't want them to be real. I prefer them to be fake. You're like, I'm just going to keep saying they're not real, because that way... Yeah, I I, I, I've not had a paranormal experience, but I remember when we were growing up and he was 15, like, he would often come to school and be like, yo, I saw this crazy video on this paranormal oh thing. God. He would watch so many paranormal videos that really? he became so converted. Really? So I should ask you this question. Do you... Well, I don't believe in it, but... I don't recommend, especially if you're a little younger, under 15, to watch paranormal videos on YouTube. I mean, now you can fake basically everything, but back in the day, it was not possible, right? So you would see these very weird videos, and I would just be afraid sometimes to, s to sleep. You check the corners for signs, you know? But I don't believe in ghosts. Okay. But if they show up, you know, then yeah, I do. They better be nice. Yeah, they, they better be nice. Yeah. They'll be nice ghosts. Yeah. I feel that for you. Okay, let's do one more for both of you, deep or dish, but you guys have to pick together. It's going to be deep or dish. I like the deep one. That was more fun. Yeah, I'll do deep. Deep. Uh, uh, di okay. Deep. 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 Okay, let's do deep. All right. <laughs> um, if you could have one song that represented you, that was like your theme song, every time you walked into a room, what song would you choose? Does it have to be ours or can it be any? No, any, any, any song. Like you walk into a room, you need it to be like your entrance song. Oh my God, that's such a hard question. Uh, it should be kind of easy. But it also know. like, it depends on the mood. Like, am I walking in? Okay, yeah. If I walk in a room, it's gonna be like the the theme of Pirates of the Caribbean by Hans Zimmer. <laughs> Hans Zimmer. Like, ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba, and then like, welcome yeah. everyone. Party can start now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll second that. Really? I, th I think that's actually that's a great. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that too. That's pretty epic. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Um. Awesome, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank Vi you for having us. Vice Tone in the house. You guys are great. Have fun today. Thank you. Are you gonna Thank see you. any other any uh, sets? We're definitely gonna stay. This has been long overdue to yeah, festival yeah. experience, so we're stoked to see everyone, yeah. Awesome, well I'll see you in your sunglasses around the festival, uh, and awesome. we will dance together. Yes, good? yes, thank you. Thank you guys for watching.